everyone, welcome to Ro Robotics YouTube. Nelly here. This video will show you how Visual Component Software assists FMS layout. The full name of FMS is Flexible Manufacturing System. What is FMS layout? FMS is a production method that is designed to easily adapt to the changes in the type and quantity of the product being manufactured. Machines and computerized systems can be configured to manufacture a variety of parts and handle changing levels of production. There are five types of layout in FMS which will be shown in the next video. In an automated FMS production, it helps reducing the labor costs. However, it is more expensive to design and put in place in comparison to a fixed automation process. It also requires skilled professionals to assist in the conversation offline. Here, visual components will help with design and do visual commissioning of the FMS layout before implementing or converting the line in your real layout. This can be done repeatedly. You can test until it meets your requirements and in comparison to the conventional POC test, it is more affordable and accessible. Let's run the simulation first and see how the current layout works. We have three different products, Cube Purple, Cube Dark Blue and Cube Green. The crane will transfer them onto the conveyor. Then the robot will transfer the Cube Purple into the first machine, the Cube Dark Blue into the second machine and the Cube Green into the third machine. Ok now, what if we have a new product and it needs to go to these two machines in sequence. Can Visual Components solve it without the need to reinstall everything? The answer is yes. This cube brown will be the new product. It will turn into this design after the first machine and this is after the second machine. What we need to do first is define the product. I have defined them as a cube brown, cylinder brown part A and cylinder brown part B. Now we need to set the feeder to produce the new product. Click on it under the product creator and add a new product which is cube brown. Then open processes. Click on the label of this machine that add new statement that is if else statement. So if the product is cube dark blue then the machine will produce the cylinder dark blue. Else, it will produce the cylinder brown part A. Add a new change type statement or you also can do copy and paste. Then set the new type to cylinder brown part A. Do the same thing for the next machine. Click on the label and add if else statement. If the product is cube green, then it will produce the cylinder green, else it will produce cylinder brown part B. Next is define the flow for this new product. I will define it under a new flow group that is flow group 4. Ok, now click on the feeder label to add it into the flow step and click the buffer label. Then set the transport time as 0 second. And enable the crane controller and click the process 1 label. Disable the crane controller then click the label process 2. Now enable the robot and click the first machine label that the product will transfer into that is the parametric lead 2 then next is parametric lead 3 last but not least is the buffer to label we are done define the flow now let's run the simulation we hope you saw how visual components bring value to your organization and production flow by designing, testing, and planning virtually and repeatedly without additional expense. 
See you in the next video. Subscribe for bi-weekly updates. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.